Before Ruby was transferred from the Dallas County Jail to Parkland Hospital for treatment of a massive cancer infection, he was guarded around the clock in solitary confinement. There were no windows in his Spartan cell. A naked light bulb shone above him 24 hours a day. Thinking back three years, Ruby lay in his hospital bed and recounted the events regarding his killing of Lee Harvey Oswald. Well, I went to the Western Union to try to send the money. And naturally, the clerk took my money. After he took the money, I turned away and walked out. And I walked down the street. And the curiosity had aroused me because of the flash in my mind. Seeing the people there before I went up to West Virginia, as I drove by on Main Street. On the south side of Main Street. So I walked towards the, the ramp. I noticed the police squad car on the head of the ramp. And an officer leaning over talking to him with back to me. All I did was walk down there, down to the bottom of the ramp, and that's when they, the episode happened, at the bottom of the ramp. Did you, uh, did you recognize anybody when you reached the bottom of the ramp? No, but I recognized the police officer in the car that was in the car. It was Lieutenant Sam Pierce, and this other man was just talking to him. When did you, uh, when did you finally realize that uh, something had happened there? Well, it happened in such a, a, a blur that it happened. It happened in such a blur that uh, before I knew it, I was down on the ground. The officers had me on the ground. Did you, had you realized you had done anything? Well, really, it happened so fast and everything else, I can't recall what had happened from the time I came to the bottom of the ramp until the police officers had me on the ground. You have no recollection, no. But I know that they were holding my hand, grappling for the gun. Did you ever know Oswald before? Never have known him or seen him before. Had you ever planned anything yeah. like this? I was so emotionally upset for three days. Is there, uh, is there any truth at all the stories that Oswald had did in your club or anything? None whatsoever. It's just fabrication. Normally you carried a gun with you, did you, Jack? Yes, I did. I always carried a gun because of various all occasions I had my clubs. Then I carried a pretty large sum of money at times. The ironic part of this is, had I made an illegal turn behind the bus to the parking lot, had I gone the way I was supposed to go, straight down Main Street, I would have never, I would never met this fate because the difference in meeting this fate was 30 seconds, one way or the other. Did, did you know when Oswald was going to be moved, Jack? He was supposed to be moved at 10 o'clock. Why? No. Is there anything else that you think I ought to know, Jack? Well, are, are you uncomfortable? My rectum is, uh, I'm, I'm bedridden, you know? Yeah, you got sores, huh? Not that it's, it's not sores, it's... From the, uh...